Hey guys, I'm back, like I promised, with some recommendations for uh, products that you can look for that are going to help your um, oily skin to to look nice and, and have a more of a controlled, you know, be able to control the shine throughout the day and just um, products that are going to actually help your skin, all right? So you want to cleanse your skin with something like a foaming cleanser and that's like that has antibacterial properties in it. Now, I'm going to be looking down a lot and it's because I just have a list of a few things that I have written down. Um, that I can't, you know, remember off the top of my head. But, you know, your cleansers should be somewhat foaming. They should have some antibacterial properties in them. Also, your moisturizers, they should be oil-free moisturizers. And oil-free moisturizers, moisturizers that, can, that also contain an SPF in it of at least 15. Now, an oil-free moisturizer contains um, ingredients that are that that um, that hydrate your skin, like propylene glycol. Um, also, it contains alpha hydroxy acids that also help to exfoliate the surface of your skin, improving the skin's hydration. Also, it contains glycerin and all these ingredients, um, and also dimethicone and like sodium PCA. These are all um, these are all um, hydrators instead of like emollients so they do work like an oil but except they're not they're not oils and um, they just kind of help to seal in that water in your skin okay now for nighttime so okay you want to cleanse twice a day all right with this foaming cleanser um, you also want to moisturize every day all right so just because you have all this oily skin again you don't want to go without really moisturizing your skin without hydrating your skin all right um, you want to be able to put something that's light on your face that your skin is gonna absorb it and it's going to feel um, hydrated just not greasy all right and at nighttime you want to also use a a um a night cream that's not going to nourish your skin but it's actually going to help to control the oil production and for exfoliants you want to look for something that contains like jojoba beads and what those are they're actually um a hundred percent uniform in size and shape so it's going to help to just um help to lift off all those dead skin cells and help to exfoliate your skin um, without really irritating it okay because the jojoba beads are actually round and not jagged like uh, apricot scrubs so um, or my favorite would be to just use a mask that contains alpha hydroxy acids which help to loosen the glue or loosen the um, the lipids that keep this that holds the cells together so it's going to pretty much loosen the glue between the cells to help to for the for the cells to exfoliate a lot quicker and there's also beta hydroxys something that contains salicylic acid because that does exactly the same thing as alpha hydroxy acids but this has a um this has a um an antibacterial property to it so or antiseptic so it's also not just going to exfoliate your skin and help to loosen all that dead skin um that the dead skin cells from your from your face and also helping to regulate your corneum layer thickness and um improve the hydration um vitamin a now there's products like retin retin a or renova and tretinoin tree t trinoin which is a derivative derivative of vitamin a um those are good because what it does it increases the cell turnover and increases hydration by actually activating the hyaluronic acid that's naturally found in your skin and like i have mentioned in my past videos hyaluronic acid is just um it's just like a hydrating liquid that's naturally found in deep in your skin cells layers, actually in the dermis. Okay, so also um, papain, papain, which is spelled P A P P A P A I N, is an enzyme that is naturally found in the papaya fruit, and there's also bromelain. Um, which is derived from the pineapple. These are enzymes that you can that are actually found in um, in face masks, with also with in, in combination with alpha hydroxy acids. And what um, an enzyme does is it actually sits on your skin and it actually helps to soften the tissue, so soften the face. So the alpha hydroxy acids are going to help to um, loosen 
um, the, the bonds between your cells to help to exfoliate your skin and these enzymes are going to help to soften your skin, the tissue, so it'll be easier to, ex to um, extract. Like if you have blackheads on your nose um you want to be able to you know to remove those and you want to make sure that you wrap your fingers up in tissues before you actually extract your skin to actually um keep the nails from from damaging your the tissue on your face because it's pretty delicate you don't want to be able to you know jack it up you know so these are ingredients that i believe you should look for but with vitamin a um Anybody, any any woman that's pregnant should not use it um, because it does tend to um, what to call it. It causes child like childbirth um, defects. So I would not recommend you guys using products that are that the main ingredient is vitamin A. It's good for your skin, but it's bad for the baby. You know. Okay, so I have products that I have written down here. So um, for for face washes okay i have you can use uh, uh, again uh, um, a, uh, a product that's slightly drying so something like the lever 2000 antibacterial soap or the sal ac wash which is s-a-l-a-c wash you can probably check that out online that's um you want to again something that's foaming to really um help to remove those excess oils in your skin okay and depending on how acne prone you are you can use a five or ten percent benzoil um peroxide cleanser or topical nighttime cream to help decrease the oil that is being produced on your skin so you can use something like Clearasil 10% benzoyl peroxide or the Persagel 10% benzoyl peroxide. And again, you want to use a moisturizer that is lightweight on your skin. It's oil-free, so something that's more like water-based. Water and I have, um, some, I have two things. I have here Neutrogena Oil-Free Sunblock, which is, has an SPF of 30, or the Copper Tone Oil-Free Waterproof SPF of 30. So you can use that also. Um, and you might also want to, for the nighttime cream, you want something that's going to help to control the oil production in your skin. So try some using something like the Basis All Night Face Cream, which contains alpha hydroxy acids, vitamin A, vitamin E, which helps to repair any damage done to your skin and it helps to also um, moisturize your skin. And vitamin C helps to um, produce um, more collagen in your skin and it helps to um, decrease any inflammation that you that you may have. So it's also soothing and it helps with, the, with your collagen production. So keeping your skin more plump, in turn keeping it hydrated and looking nice. So... If you guys have any questions, if you guys feel like these ingredients, these products are not that great or whatnot, hey, hit me up. You know, I, I wanted to do this, you know, really budget friendly, something that's readily attainable. Um, but if you feel like you want to spend the extra cash or you feel like you want to add something extra to your skincare regimen, then, um, you know, comment or send me a personal message. And also, um, try to stay away from, from, um from toners toners and astringents they're really they're they're really heavy in the alcohol and that does tend to strip your skin i don't use toners anymore because i feel like if i'm able to if i exfoliate my skin every other day which you should and really a product that contains like either a mask a face mask that contains alpha hydroxy acids in it it's wonderful um, because you don't have to um, manipulate your skin with scrubs and the scrubs would be something that has jojoba beads which is a lot better for your skin than something that's um, like the apricot scrubs which those things are like the little particles in it are really jagged it can actually um, tear your skin giving it little micro scars and you don't want that and um, for masks, anything that is clay based, it contains clay um, or sulfur, that is awesome. Okay, so you want to be able to mask about, I would say maybe like two or three times a week, at least three times a week, because it's going to help to really pull out the excess oils from your skin. So something like, um, 
the Biore self heating mask, which is pore cleansing. It contains um, kaolin and acrylites. So it's going to help to absorb the oil and it's going to help to refine your skin. So if you guys have any more questions, definitely let me know and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care and God bless.